Hello everyone, this is Ryan and in this lesson I'm going to be showing you how to work with borders in CSS. So you'll see in front of me I have a page with a main heading, then I have two paragraphs of text as well as two images side by side. So if I go to the code you'll see the HTML behind this. Um, we have the heading, the paragraphs, the two images side by side and then I'm also linking to a CSS file called borders.css which is currently an empty script waiting for us to add some rules to it. So let's go and have a look again at our box model which we saw in our previous video and you'll remember that we have the content area in the middle with our padding and then the border is this green area that goes all the way around and by default the border on most properties is switched off so we're going to be switching it on in these in this video. Let's have a look at W3Schools which is a really good CSS reference and under the table of contents we're just going to go to the backgrounds and borders section and all the properties that begin with the word border are the ones that we'll be interested in. So the first one is actually a shorthand which is really nice but we'll look at that last and then um, the border property has the ability to set the borders on each side of the box. So we could set the left border, we could set the bottom border, the right border, the top border and so on. So before we set the individual borders we're actually going to set the, the border all the way around the box. And to do that we need to learn about three different properties. The first of which is the border-color which will set the color of the border then the border dash width which will set the thickness of the border in pixels and then also the border dash style which will give us the type of border that we're looking for. So let's begin with the border style. Um, the most common border style that people use is the solid border which is just a solid line all the way around. Um, I also like the dotted border which is just a dotted line the dashed border which is made up of dashes and then also the double border is a uh, yeah two sets of borders all the way around the box. Then the last four grooved ridge inset and outset are all 3D borders which means they have a kind of a shadow. So let's experiment with these um, now. I'm going to first start by applying a border to the heading. So let us open up our code and create a rule for our heading and let's set the border color to aqua and then I'll set a border width and well I'll also set a border style so have a look at the border which has been created over here if we increase the thickness, say 4 pixels or even 10 pixels, so you can see how it's increased over here. Of course you can play around with this until you find a border that you like. Uh, let's try some different styles of borders now. Let's go for a dotted border as opposed to a solid border. I'm just going to drop this down to let's say 3 pixels and that doesn't look too bad and uh, let's try the dashed border okay you can see it's just dashes let's try the double border I'll have to go a bit thicker in order for you to see this properly here we go and let's also try some of the three-dimensional borders um, I'll do the three-dimensional borders on the image instead so we'll have, um, let's put them side by side. We'll say border dash color. This time I'll use a red border. And then we'll say border dash style. And I'll use a one of the three dimensional borders, the groove. And then border dash width. Let's make it nice and thick so you can see what's going on. 
and you'll see there is a slight shadow here so there's a difference in color like a dark red and a lighter red on the inside let's try the inset okay what here we've got the darker red on the the left and the top and the lighter red on the bottom and on the right uh, let's try the outset now it's just reversed with the lighter red on the top and left and the darker red on the bottom and on the right and the ridge so these are all pretty nice um, borders for especially for pictures let's now try a border on a paragraph of text this time I'm going to use the shorthand for borders so let's take a look at the shorthand for borders we'll just switch over to the border property in W3 schools and you can see that just with one property you can set the thickness the style and the color now the order of these are important has to first be the thickness then the style then the color and then it's just border colon so let's give this a try so we're going to go thickness one pixel then I'm going to put the style which will be solid and then I'm going to do the color which will be black Okay, so there you can see it, it's very thin, now let's maybe make it a little bit thicker, so it's easier to see. And um, I don't like the fact that the text is almost touching the border, but we'll see in um, the next video how we can add padding to, to make this much, much better. And then lastly, let's look at how we can set individual borders so i'll go back to my heading for this one so you'll see that we have border dash bottom which is actually the shorthand for the border bottom color the border bottom width and the border bottom style all together so let's just use the shorthand um, so i'll do this on on the heading so we'll just I'll comment this out in brackets to comment something out you just highlight everything and put control forward slash which is quite nice and then we'll just say border dash bottom and then we use the same shorthand first the thickness then the style and then the color Okay, so if I now save this, there you can see. So it's only putting the border on the bottom now instead of all the way around the box. You can see that it, the border stretches all the way across the width of the screen because you'll remember that the heading is a block level element. So therefore it takes the full width of the browser. Okay, so let's now try border dash top instead. Now it's above. How about border dash left? Now it's only on the left hand side. And of course border dash right. Which is only going to be on the right hand side. So let me show you. Let's put a top and a bottom border at the same time. So I'll just change that to bottom. And you can see that looks quite nice as well without the left without the right but now it has the top and it has the bottom and in this way you could actually specify a different type of border so maybe you change the color on one of the borders or even change the style so we could have a um, a double border for the bottom for instance you're just going to have to go a little bit thicker for the double border to show up Okay, so that brings us to the end of our lesson on working with borders in CSS.